Hi folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to DG Retro Customs. Fucking stand my hand up. Um, yeah, today we've got a, a new little project in. Um, Michelle's son, um, he, he's going to be passing his uh, driving test. Uh, we're confident he's going to pass it uh, next month. So last night we picked him up a little car. We actually managed to pick him up an MG ZR, quite cheap. Um, needs a little bit of work doing on it. So like uh, today's like the 22nd of January I think it is something like that so we've got about a month to get the thing done uh, Michelle's going to drive it around and then any little four balls we you know it's going to we're going to sort out um, so then he's got a nice car so let me walk you around the car and uh, we'll go through some of the things that we've already noticed all right so there she is in all her glory um, it's basically the proper small version of that you know um, then no, I didn't actually go out looking for one of these. It just happened to come up real cheap. So we paid 350 quid for this, uh, and it's got MOT till July, I think, late late July. So it, it's it's got some good bits about it. Um, as you can see, it's got a little bit of corrosion on the arches. Uh, the front arches are a lot worse, but we're not worried about that for the minute. You know, the body works today. He's a new driver, so it's going to get beaten up. We can deal with this later. But we've got new tyres on it. Um, it's had a prang at the back and the boot floor has gone in um, so same on this side it's had a bit of welding done down there um, it's MOT welding but it's it's nice and strong good quality uh, this wing's quite bad but we can buy a brand new wings for this uh, we've got brand new battery uh, engines clean these suffer with egg gaskets this one seems to be okay so a couple of things that we've already noticed uh, worst one is the exhaust for some reason somebody's hacked into that i think they tried or thought they was doing a decal but i'm pretty certain there's not a cat in there uh whatever way i'm going to take it off i'll clean it all up and weld it up later on we can deal with the things um there's this air uh, strap it's got a new clutch in it uh they obviously forgot to put this on and it's just lashed it in there so i need to take all the airbox off and then put it back onto one of the gearbox bolts um auxiliary belt a little bit frayed but I want to do a cam belt on it anyway, just, just out of course, because we haven't got any history. We've got a little bit of history, but it doesn't mention about the cam belt, so we want to get that done. And then the power steering belt down there. Uh, one of the other issues that we've got, this is the, the job for today, is this seat. So, Michelle wants to drive it, so we need to make it sort of drivable. So, uh, the gear stick is missing, somebody's cut that old school short, short shift back in the day we've got a uh, an aftermarket gear knob it's got a grub screw so I need to sort that out it's a two minute job but this seat squabs actually come unattached so I need to take the seat out and reattach that it's really cold today so a couple of other things that we noticed uh, which we can get done um, sort of as and when is there's a vibration on the braking obviously it's got a warp disc or something and the handbrake's really high so new set of new discs and pads i'll probably do shoes and wheel cylinders at the same time if they're cheap enough oh excuse me and uh, then just clean and adjust everything um there's no back box on it either so once i've fixed the manifold we need to actually have a look at uh, the back box i've got um, a power flow back box in stock i might try and make something uh, we'll see how that goes but yeah it's just going to be a short video series of just going through this and doing all the little bits and then at the end there's going to be a reveal to to cameron um we're going to throw in a couple of surprises for him as well um so then he's just got a real nice first car for when he passes his test um i mean these you know they're, they're actually sort of semi-classic now i mean when we first mentioned it to him it's just like oh, it's just a, just a rover but he's sort of warmed up to the idea now he's looked into it a little bit more you know i mean his his words were i mean that's a, it's a car for life it, it's not it's still a 1400 you know it's relatively cheap insurance but you know it, it should teach him to appreciate cars you know he should look after it and the great thing about this is because it's an mg and um, there's a company called rimmer brothers they bought everything like all old stock so i mean you can buy like all of the little trims and clips and screws almost absolutely everything for it you know so yeah um hopefully we'll look after it and sort of have an appreciation for cars so first thing we're going to do is i'm going to tackle the seat uh we, we haven't long drove it here so the exhaust is still a bit hot at the minute that's why the bonnet's up already 
Um, so I'm going to tackle the seat, then I'll have the uh, manifold off and we'll get that, that welded in. So I'll get the seat out and I'll see you at the bench. Right. <clears throat> Going on the bench now. Um, all it's done is basically it's just broke these clips off all over the place. It's just not actually attaching on. Uh, you can buy a new squab, but I'm just going to do a, a little temporary repair for now. Uh, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill a couple of holes in here probably four on each of these broken tab bits and I'll just put some cable ties around it and then that should hold it all in uh, this side here is actually okay and then I'll do the same at the back here that's completely just got come off so I'll just uh, put some cable ties through through the actual leather cable tie that up um, one thing I did notice when I took it out is that the lever wasn't tipping forwards and then I've got a broken cable this side. So that side's doing what it's supposed to do. But you can see someone's already tried to have a look. So I just need to do a quick bodge on that so we can get that to move forward. And then I'll uh, try and source another seat for them at a later date. All right, got it all attached. Um, as you can see, I've decided to use um, rivets instead of uh, cable ties. Um, I'd actually completely forgot I had a brand new box of these. These nice massive head rivets. So, put shitloads along there, and then obviously I was worried at the back, you know, I didn't want it to rip the leather. So, having that spread in the weight, then I'll put plenty on, got it as straight as I can. So, now on to uh, this broken cable. There it is. Um, what I'm going to do it is, it's supposed to have this uh, end that just brings it away from here. Um, if you look, it's not quite in line so I've got got a bit of a five mil rod that I bolt in there that'll bring it away that should be clearance yeah look. plenty of clearance there then I've got an old bit of a bicycle brake cable that I've just hacked off of a bike and then what I'm going to do is I'll make uh, so I'll bolt that rod in there and then I'll use uh, some basically just electrical connect crimpon connectors to join this to that, uh, join, join the cables together and then have a, a little pivot there and it should, in theory, be spot on. Right, so that's pretty much what I've done. And then that, I'll just go on there, like that. Um, I did have to kink that uh, thread up just a little bit because of the uh, clearance on the nut that's fine um, and then I've just cut the bottom of that crimp off because it was catching um, a bit down there. I don't know if you can see it's got the light involved I'm just about to see that little bit sticking out um, yeah it was just catching on that um, but if you look let's move that light yeah that's all Doing what it's supposed to be doing, just completely releasing. Managed to get the same sort of tension on both, they're both moving literally starting at the same time. So I'm happy with that. Uh, all I'm going to do now is just to stop uh, anything catching on that bit uh, and then potentially pulling this out. Um, I'm just going to put some heat shrink all the way down there um, and then I'll just put another nylock on there. And probably trim that down a little piece as well and then that will be done we'll get it in the car well Michelle's put the seat back in while I was taking the uh, the manifold off and she's also sort of the gear stick out I mean, that's so much better look at that as it's supposed to be while the seat was out hoovered it up all that bit of shit it's doing what it's supposed to be doing the bolts still all the threads still there but I'll, say, I'll look for another seat because of this anyway, but for now it would get him out of trouble. Um, yeah, with the, with the manifold off, a piece of piss on these. Um, you can see it's been blowing quite a bit on the side, but you should actually see the state of the manifold. Oh my god. So, from the top, you could see this was bad, but I didn't expect it to be that bad. <laughs> What the fuck has somebody done with that cunt? 
Oh shit, the bed. We've had a, a good old fucking giggle over this one. I reckon Michelle could have welded this better straight off the cuff and she's welded like three times. So, the thing that makes me chuckle is I've done that, right, to decat it. But then the flange is here. They could have easily smashed it out from here and just, I don't, it's the most pointless thing ever. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna cut this out and then I'll, uh, I'll wrap a, a plate around it. And then there's a, there was a broken stud. You can see that, oh, there we go. It's been broken forever. So I've dug out some, uh, went through a pot of love. I've got some new threads and I'll, uh, Heat that up and replace it. I'm trying to focus your prick. Uh, yeah, I'll just heat that up, knock it out, and I'll uh, replace it. So, yeah, I'm just going to get that done, really. No, no fucking about. I'm just going to cut it around the seam. Well, I'm not going to try and grind this back at all. I'm just going to cut it and then make a new plate for it. Right, so, got it all welded up. It's just cooling down at the minute. Um, I was literally just saying to Michelle it's annoying because I've got to wait for that bit to cool down so I can hold it to heat that bit up to knock that bolt out. Um, that's what I cut out of it so you can see that I literally just cut it out I didn't even fuck about. Um, it's raised because it's on the welds. Uh, but then, fuck. Ah, there you go, so. I'm just getting a nice single seam down there but because it's on the weld, it wasn't wasn't welding very well, so I just sort of um, stitched it. But you can see what I cut out. I didn't have uh, enough bloody metal, so I ended up putting like, a second little fillet in there, and then them two spots were just little pinholes that I see. So it doesn't really matter, because um, obviously it's a cat. I'm gonna have to replace this at some point, but for now it's just gonna be a lot quieter. So I, I should, probably should have fucking run it up. Um, sorry? Um, yeah, I probably should have run it up for, for this, but you can imagine what it was like with <laughs> that fucking hole in it. Now, hold on. No more focusing, you prick. That's how they left it. So, when I started cutting it away, um, there was a load of slag come off of it. So I'm assuming that was arc welded or stick welded, but you can see where they've <laughs> fucking state of it. I'll try to get in there. We go. Look. So how not to weld 101. But yeah, uh, that'll get get us out of trouble for now. As I said, the uh, the entire exhaust wants sorting out properly. The back box isn't on. I just want it to sound a bit more respectable, respectable at the minute, so we can order the parts in and uh, drive it around. So uh, it's fucking cold, as you can see. Look, my breath thing. Bless her. Look. It's <laughs> cold in the puppy as well. Yeah, uh, I'm going to call it done for this video. Uh, I'll get it all refitted. Um, there, there's going to be more videos coming for, for this little car. Uh, as I said at the top of the video, brakes want sorting out, exhaust wants sorting out. Um, there's loads of little bits that want sorting out. The, the car's pr pretty good. You know, it's just all the little bits and bobs that need sorting out that we'll go through. So, uh, yeah, check out my friends in the description box. Uh, please uh, support me on Teespring and... Uh, Patreon, follow my social media, and I'll, uh, I'll speak to you for the next one. Bye.